weird fake attack pattern. Difficult. Normal easy, because it's the fastest one. Assuming you can actually have the game behave itself long enough to put a run together, which I'm currently struggling with. That's why I didn't do normal easy when I first tried to put together a run of this category, because normal easy just makes the game fuckier. Makes things more apt to misbehave themselves. It's one of the reasons I do not really like the, uh, the, the, the higher difficulty route for Sao 3 or that much. It's like, oh, it just adds more randomness into a game that's already got too much of it. Yay. Because, like, boss health is one thing, right? And it's a pretty big thing. But there's, there's more subtleties than you might expect. I guess the other thing with uh, with like Nintendo Game Online is that the Switch is a weird console that refuses to have an Ethernet port because Nintendo again just don't have brains when they design these things. It's not on the dock, it's not on the unit, it's just you just don't. You've got to buy a USB adapter for that and no one's going to do that. So uh, pretty much everyone's playing on Wi-Fi. And that's uh, that's not great. That's not great for gaming. It's just not. 7148. Hence, I think for my for, for for games of like a like attempting a serious competitive stripe, I will stick to PC. Hey, Princess Kira. Like I I thought it was life changing uh, when I got like fucking type Lumina, melty blood type Lumina, and the netcode of that game is like pretty all right. There was kind of a weird bug where if you skip the intro, it might fuck up the rollback on one side, but they fixed that eventually. And now, you play a type Lumina on the internet, and you connect to someone with a somewhat decent connection. It just works. It, like, isn't frustrating as shit to play. It just, it just works. You just press the button, you hit the guy, like, rollback sometimes does things that look kind of funny. Like, where you hit someone and then it rolls back and actually they block, but, like, that's just... I don't know, that's a price I'm willing to pay for, like, not having to do with, like, shitty-ass fucking... ...delay netcode where everything... For... Like, I never played fighting games online until quite recently. Until the ad, like, the wide adoption of rollback netcode, I never used to bother because I just found delay base so frustrating. It felt so bad. Like, I would just, I would play a match to him and be like, wow, this feels like shit to play on the internet, and then I would quit. And now, I don't... Now I actually play the game sometimes, because it's like, it doesn't feel like trash to play on the internet anymore. It's like, fucking crazy. I don't know if rollback would work with Splatoon 3. I'm not sure about the logistics of rollback with, like, team. Here's the thing, saying rollback as any one thing is sort of misleading, because that's not really how rollback works. There's, like, multiple technicalities that go into the implementation of it. Like, you can have bad rollback. It is, it is possible to fuck up rollback. As, as evidenced by, uh... Type Lumina's initial launch, which, when it worked well, it worked well. But when it bugged out, it bugged out really badly. But they did fix that. It was fixed. It was solved. Eventually. I 
I'm not sure rollback is like too applicable to online shooter games, like team-based shooters at least, because of too many people. Rollback works best with sort of like fixed input states, which a fighting game can do. Fighting games can accommodate that very well because the, the most common pre like predictive method for a fighting game is simply the player continues doing the thing that they were doing last frame, which is actually more right than it's wrong. Like, think about it. When you press a button, you rarely press a button for exactly one frame, right? Unless unless your inputs are extreme. Like, if, if you're like a... If you're crisp as fuck, maybe you do manage to get them absolutely fucking crisp quarter circles. You know what I'm saying? But odds are good. Odds are good. You're kind of shit. And your inputs, they ain't they so crisp. They're not so crisp. Or maybe you're just holding a button. Maybe you maybe you just press... Maybe you negative edge in something, you know? Maybe you're just holding forward. Maybe you're holding back. So if you just predict player does the same thing they did last frame, you'll be more right than you'll be wrong. And that enables you to make huge gains and calculating the state. Multiplayer shooters with their fucking analog movement are too unpredictable. That's much harder. But still, there are like multiplayer shooters with good feeling online games. I'm not really sure what the holdup is with like Splatoon in particular. Just Nintendo, I guess. Like, I'll give this to Overwatch, and this might be the only thing I will give to Overwatch. When I played Overwatch, I didn't feel like it was a struggle to, like, hit things, or my enemies would just teleport. Like, you know, it felt good to play a game. I thought I held that too long there for a moment. There we go. It felt good to play a game of, you know, like, oh, you could you'd shoot the dude and you'd hit the dude. People wouldn't, like, teleport everywhere unless, like, you were experiencing a lag spike or something. Like, sometimes that shit happens. Like, internet connections are weird and fuzzy like that. But it was alright. Things... things work. Feels okay. This is a thing I even have even when I go back to Team Fortress 2. That game, you know, you can play it on PC with a little bit of a... with, you know, with good connection, good ping. Still a bit janky sometimes. And, like, that's just sort of inherent to the way the game works. It's just a little bit janky. Like, sniping is a very inexact science in Team Fortress 2, because heads aren't exactly where they look like they are. <laughs> they're a little bit... They're, uh, they're ever so slightly, like, behind where it looks like they are. And, uh, fucking... Uh, trying to, like, melee anyone in TF2 is, like, that. that's, like, a coin flip if it'll even work properly. Me melee hit registration in TF2 is a work of art. And by that I mean, half the time you'll hit someone, you'll hear the hit noise, and fucking nothing will happen. It's like, okay. Questionable. But that's just how games were like back then. Really wanted to rip that one? No, it was fine. Please stop saying things if you don't understand what's going on. The rage that comes out of remote covering people and pistol. Yeah, you're fucking body shotting everyone, you piece of shit. Fucking body shotting sniper. Worst guy. Worst guy. I'm actually not even sure if I have that weapon. That's something that kind of sucks about TF2. There's like tons of weapons and you don't have all of them. 
You gotta either find them randomly or buy them. I could and I probably should load that, but I'm not going to. <laughs> you like the piss rage. I'm experiencing piss rage now. And the Girardi into middle. I mean, yeah. Girardi is like the sniper's best secondary, I think. I think. I, I, don't, I don't have like very sophisticated opinions on game balance. But I'm pretty sure Girardi is his best secondary. Just if anyone gets in your grill, you throw it on them and you hit them with the bushwhacker and they die. Easy. Or if no one's in your grill, you can throw it at like a large group of enemies and then you win the fight for free. Because you covered them all in mini crits. Best period was the first wave up, so the turn of weapons you could just get through doing achievements for the class, hooray. That's still true. That system didn't, like, disappear. You can still get, like, the first batch of alternate weapons by, by way of achievements. You still you can still unlock, like, the fucking, the Kritzkrieg and shit that way. But there's, like, there's, like, a bunch of scout weapons I just don't have. I mainly play scout, is the thing. We're talking about TF2 in this chat now. This is, this is... This is truly old man hours. Yeah, there's like, there's so many more weapons, most of which you have to just find. Like, I don't have the soda popper. I don't have the rap assassin. Consequently, I cannot try either. I just don't have them. I need to buy them. And they're not expensive. They're like pennies each. But it's still money, man. <laughs> Or just, like, hope I get lucky or, like, play long enough and craft them with the crafting system that exists. It's like, fucking, it's weird. It's weird. Yes, yeah, it's the point about it. I don't like interacting with the Steam Marketplace. I do not want to do that. <laughs> Stout shako for a two defined. This is an old man meeting right now. Shite. Refined is surely absolutely fucking worthless nowadays, right? Like, given how long the game's been around, the fact that Refined just sort of generates itself automatically with playtime... Oh, you know, I could sell my Steam cards and get the pennies that way to purchase missing scout weapons. Except I'd rather spend that on games. That's the thing, is that I've got money in my Steam wallet. I want to buy a fucking game. Also, selling cards on Steam, they made that such a pain in the ass to do. Authenticate with the mobile app and manually verify every transaction one by one for two pennies each. I have so many cards in my fucking inventory that I imagine in theory if I did actually go through and sell all of them, I would acquire probably enough scratch to purchase like a medium price video game.
But the process of, like, selling off all of those cards is so fucking arduous for, like, pennies at a time that I cannot be bothered. No, I do not- I do not want to increase my steam level. My steam profile is private. No one even knows what my steam level is. That should have been light off. Can I am private now that FP2 is out? I could. I'm not going to. Devious. Well, I just, I don't know, I got used to it. The game was in development for like three years. I mean, well, I was on the project for about three years. The game was in development for like fucking seven. Those rare trombone champ achievements. None of my trombone, none of the trombone champ achievements are rare. The rarest achievements on my pro- My profile's rarest achievement showcase is like 90% DJ Max. Because most people don't have the achievements in that game. Because a lot of them are very difficult. And of the, of the people capable of even getting all of them, not everyone bothers. Because mission mode is like, such an asshole. <laughs> mission mode is such a pain. I did see that someone modded Megalovania into Trombone Champ. Uh, their chart would be completely unplayable in practice, though. Although I don't think it's like a chart, I think they converted a MIDI. Ooh, he's one try punchy. He gets everything in one try. Yeah, they do plan on adding, like, a public chart editor to Trombone Champ, which is kind of funny to me, because, like, I mean, I guess, if you can. I'm not, I'm not much of a, like, a user content guy in rhythm games. Because people do things like mod Megalovania into a game about playing public domain music on the trombone. I disagree. GCV, thanks for gifting a sub to Itadori. That's very cool. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, I forgot to point this out because I've been like sort of half asleep. I've been I've slept on September like the entire month because it's it's kind of ass. But now you get 25% off gifted subs. Took them long enough. I don't know why they decided to fucking hide that until the last three days of the month, but it's a thing now. I disagree. GCV. GCV. Thanks for gifting a sub to Brilliant. Uh, sorry, where am I? Hang on. Thanks for gifting a sub to Brilliant ATX and gifting a tier 2 sub to Daz. Go through their gift sub budgets already. Yep. They, uh, they waited until the last three days of September to do that. It's uh, real cool. Thanks, Twitch. Yeah, if you've got if you've got the tools to do custom content, I guess why not? But I don't know. I'm, I'm probably not going to be war like won over by whatever customs are available for fucking trombone champ, you know.
Ah, he got up. He woke up with a move. I should have expected it. What? Heather, you suck. Heather, you double suck. Fuck off. Like, okay, I should have seen the wake-up stab coming. That was, that was like, my bad. I definitely should have known. But... Uh, Heather whiffing was bullshit. That's her fault. That's not mine. I will take partial responsibility. Hi, Zoku. Thanks for enabling emote only. GCV, thanks for the 69 bits. That's very nice. That's a nice number. The nicest number, you could say. You need to wake up, dude. In mode only mode. Shall I store this Project Diva edit mode chart so people with Takahashi Major level mashing speeds could ever hope to beat them? There's like a whole thing around that right now. That's how the whiffs are. Oh, they're fine. Like that 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 like that time looks bad. It's like, oh man, he lost 30 seconds. What a trash boss fight. But no, that's normal. Don't worry about it. I didn't actually lose 30 seconds. I mean you lose 30 seconds on that as a fact of the route, but. That's just how this part works. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried about it. So you shouldn't be either. Yeah, there's a whole thing about that with Project Diva edits where, uh... There's a divide between people who play with an arcade-style controller where you can't really do single-button mashing that quickly, and people who play with a... 8-button controller read a standard gamepad. Uh, and they, they classify the charts with, like, huge amounts of single-button mashing as being 8-key. I call them mashing. 8-key <laughs> is fake. That's not a real thing. You've made that up. But I know it's a thing, because it's like, it's, like it's like a schism in the custom chart-making scene for... Mega Mix Plus right now, the divide between, like, people who keep making, like, heavy single-button mash charts that are clearly only designed with the pad in mind, and people who are like, we're not playing, like, this, some of us are not playing on a pad, you cut that shit out. Can you tell which side I'm on? <laughs> From the way I describe this. I don't know what the fascination is with, like, just super fucking fast mashy stuff. Heather, you're in the way! <laughs> Heather, you're blocking the clock! Uh, Heather. 106. Oh, no, wait, no, 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 wrong. It's like 1 1 something, actually. I think. Yeah. Look at the clock. Look at the clock. Look at this clock! Oh, Heather, why are you turning the wrong way? You awkward child. And Project Diva on PC. Project Diva on PC is the best version of the game by like a mile. It's real cool. I like it anyway. It's it's the only time I've ever really enjoyed Project Diva. <laughs> took took me a while to like to find a Project Diva game I actually liked, but there we go, we got one. Because I could play it with a Sound Voltage controller. Well, that's not true. I liked uh, I I do actually have the PSP games. I like those perfectly fine. That is smidge easy though. Do the mods help? It's not just, it's not really so much the mods so much as the controller type that I can use. 2769. Because I don't, I don't like playing uh, Future Tone with a, with like a standard controller. Because it's obviously not designed for it, for one thing. Play Mirai on the 3DS? Nah. I, I never owned a 3DS, like, at the time. So, if, like, any any 3DX... 3DX? 3DS game... Uh, 
I've probably not played it. I don't, I just simply don't own many 3DS games as a consequence of not having owned one while they were fresh. I've got one now for capture card stuff, but even then I use that mostly for capturing DS games, funny enough. Got plenty of those. Do I do much sound vortex? You see me use the controller a lot more as a controller for other games. I do not, in fact, do much sound vortex, no. And the reason for that is that the knobs are broken. Okay, broken's a bit strong, but one of the knobs is kind of dodgy. And that sort of puts me off wanting to bother. Hence, yes, I've actually generally used the Sound Vortex controller more as a controller for Project Diva than I have for Sound Vortex. Not worth the fix. I don't really know how to. Like, I think I might just need an Allen key. But I don't have an Allen key of the right size. Like, I think it just needs screwing into the base slightly more. I think. Because it, it feels loose. And it doesn't, it doesn't, like, turn good. There's like, there's like bounce back when it's turned, and it's not supposed to do that. Hey, Jesse Witt. Hope I'm well. I'm a bit tired, but we're playing games anyway. I'm always tired, though. I disagree. GCV, thanks for gifting a sub to Vilas. GCV is on a tear, and for some reason it stop, it's, it's never showing the, the gifted person. It's just showing GCV. <laughs> Twitch's API is, like, changing right now, so a whole bunch of the shits, like, just doesn't fucking work right right now. They're getting rid of bits, you guys know that, right? Like, bits are going away. They're being replaced with, like, the super cheer thing. I'm sure my alert system is going to love that. Yeah, the scan train is now infinite and also comes with recommendations. You get recommended to more people. Hey, Power of Friendship, what'd you miss? Uh, I don't know, video games? Video games, I suppose. What the fuck? Why, Heather? Dumbass. At least sooner rather than later. I don't... I don't know if they're gonna disappear, per se. But thanks for the 69 bits regardless. I'll take all the bits. You know, if you guys don't want the bits anymore, I, I can get home for them right here in this very stream. Oh my god, no. Wow, I have, like, uh, no health. That's a, that's a real quick save, quick load kind of situation. Heather, what the fuck are you doing? Why is she doing that shit? Stop. Randomly swinging at nothing. Comparing to easy, they are, yeah. That's why they're, like, up and down. Speaking of that, this fight is gonna suck fucking dick. Like, there's no two ways about it, this just sucks. On- on normal? On normal mode gaming, this fight's just ass. I don't know where he is. I 
that still hit me. I don't believe that at all. Yeah, this fight, this fight's just trash on normal mode melee only. That's just how it works. It's just the way of it. Fucking unbelievable. I'm actually very surprised that didn't hit me. I mean, like, it definitely shouldn't have. I wasn't anywhere near it, but it's got such a huge hitbox. Right in the bum. That wasn't close enough for you. We block those. Uh, those just whiff straight through me. Okay. Ah, normal mode Leonard. What fun. What a great boss fight. I love how this boss just doesn't play the game for a vast majority of its runtime. This is really good boss fight design. There can be no other. Got him. That might have looked really bad to you. It's like, wow, that was so slow. No, that's basically just how that goes. It's just a, it's just, just a bad boss fight. It's just not. That's just how that goes on melee only normal. It's just garbage. Oops. Split? You split on leaving. Or at least, well, I split on leaving anyway. I don't have, like, a cogent reason for doing that in the way I do, but that's how I do it. Hey, Grimmelkin. Is this a challenge run, or do I know it's possible and just speeding? It's possible. I'm doing... This is a speed run, but it is also a kind of challenge run, because melee only is a kind of challenge, I guess. Frankly, Leonard's the hardest part. Well, the hardest boss, anyway. Well, I say hardest, he's mostly just the most awkward. Because it's a bad fight where the boss spends three quarters of the fight not playing the game. Which is my least favorite type of boss in any game, the one that doesn't play the game. But we'll gain that time loss back, assuming I am able to hit the skips in the late game, which is not a guarantee, I assure you, as they are all very finicky. I didn't really practice a lesser out of bounds enough, honestly. I'm gonna stop automatically during loading screens. Yeah, it's uh, it's reading the game timer rather than the real time. So when the game timer st stops, it reflects that value. The game timer automatically does not count loads. I am yawn. Hi, Patrick Jones. If I flub a lesser skip, which is extremely likely, I'm probably going to practice it for a little bit because honestly, I don't, I have not really practiced it enough. <laughs> It occurs to me going into this, you didn't really practice that enough before doing this. Bleh. 
If you're wondering what the waiting was there for, by the way, it's to get that other guy out of your way when you exit the store. If you go in too quickly, he'll be waiting for you. When, uh, when you, when you leave the building, and you don't want that. Please give me the med packs, I require them. Yeah, this guy. See, see how he's like, he's grooving? Thanks for the 17 months. That's cool. I, I, I don't know why I just started saying that's cool when people sub, but that's cool. Ooh. Time to do Borley skip. It's where you skip Borley. I didn't skip Borley. What the fuck? Will this skip Borley? <laughs> I didn't skip Borley. I didn't skip Borley! I'm being lied to again. I skipped Borley! I disagree. Mingins! Thanks for the tier one! Yeah, okay, so like assuming you do that skip like better than that, you'd save more time, but you get a you get 30 seconds back on that, and then you save the bulk of the time is in a lesser skip and fucking church skip, but they're also the hardest two tricks in the run. <laughs> ah, it figures, doesn't it? Silent Hill is a Sonic like? Your fucking face is a Sonic like, and that it's been inconsistent in quality ever since like it became about 10 years old. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that insult means. I'm calling you ugly, I think. That's that, that was like the attempt. I disagree. <laughs> so good. Thanks for getting us up to Jay. <laughs> well, what's the, the scam train has, has started? I don't understand what the, I don't understand the new scam train. Tiger Snark, thanks for the tier one. The two months. The two months of tier one. Thank you very much. It is some bullshit. This guy uses his fucking Twitch Prime on other streamer. Right, here's the trick that will probably kill the run. This is gonna like break the stream for a moment too. Oh my god, it's so weird. No, I got in. <sighs> I didn't quite get out properly. Ah. Stop. No, dude, this is really janky. I'm frankly amazed I still made that work. I am frankly amazed I still made that work. 
Can you guys see the stream still, by the way? Just, just making sure, because that, like, breaks everything horribly. Skip worked, skip worked. I got it. It was valid. It was really bad, but I got it. It took me a while to finagle actually getting out of bounds there, but I did get it, eventually. Whew. Doesn't work on easy? No. That is impossible to do on easy because there isn't enough knockback. Just flickers and jitters for a bit? Yeah, that's normal. Because I'm repeatedly resizing the game window, is what's going on there. Salia, thanks for gifting five subs. That's a lot of subs. The scam train has reached level two, which is unfortunate timing because I've really got to concentrate. Well, I say concentrate. Yeah, i got to concentrate on this. This is going to go. I think I got fucked. This has a random chance of not working, and I think I can see the bad. Yep, I think I got left hooked. If it if it's left hook, it's never gonna go through. Yep, game failed. That's disappointing. Open the door, please. One chun. Go for it again. Assuming this does not kill the streamer. Did the enemy just miss? No, it hit. Just hit really delayed. Okay, I'm out of bounds. For better or worse. Sun Puppy, thanks for gifting a sub to Simski. And now I just have to navigate blind in the void and hope I hit my mark, which. Yatta! <laughs> that wasn't like good. I was ri I was totally about to miss that. Like I heard I was I was navigating by sound more than anything. All right, now, final boss, final boss. I stand here. One, two, three, four, five. It's gotta be five on normal, you can't do six, you don't have enough time. Because she doesn't stagger after every funny stab on 
normal works differently. I'm gonna get hit. I fucked up. Yep, that's fair. Play it safe. I fucked up by not using my ampule. I ran out of uh, stamina. And when you run out of stamina, your melee attacks come out slower. That's the reason for that. I understand. I get it. That's why we keep the spare ampule in the back pocket, although I would prefer not to get hit by that. That's not good. Regardless, messy, but it's a finish. That's a new world record. That counts. That's complete. That's a complete single segment run. The, the out of bounds for Alessa was mad janky, but it was legal. <laughs> I quick saved and quick loaded again a second time, but it was a fresh save, so it's still legal. <laughs> Technically a single segment run. That's a thing. That's, that's definitely on. That looked really. And that's gonna give the. That's gonna give whoever verifies my run a headache. But I promise you, that's in. Let's like. That's that's real. That's real. I kept it clean. All right. That's a new world record. And the previous world record was by me. So. I saved two minutes and thirty seconds on this category. That's not bad. That's not bad, right? I think that's pretty good. We're boosting the stream with 1,700 recommendations. Like, like, after the world record? Come on, man. It's not bad. That's not bad. That's the first run of this route anyone's completed. This is an actual speedrun category, yeah. It's not got many runs. Like, people don't run melee only that much. But, people do run it. There's definitely lots of time to come off this still. <laughs> lots of time. Uh, none of, like, none of the skips were good. <laughs> like, I got the hard skips, like, I got them, but none of them were, like, very confident. Eddie G, thanks for gifting three subs. I got it. I got it. I, I, I finished the run type, at least. I finished the run type. There. Because for those of you who are keeping score, the last time anyone ran Silent Hill 3 melee only uh, was four years ago with Borkba's run, and before that none of the tech was known, so Borkba's- that's- I have saved four minutes on this category since picking it up, because no one's done it since, like, the new shit got found. <laughs>